time for the Mix Morning Briefing on Mix TV, presented by Toyota of Cleveland. I'm Steve Hartline. The governor of Tennessee, Bill Lee, made a big announcement on Monday, and that is that vaccinations will be opened up to everyone no later than April the 5th. President uh, Joe Biden made the declaration about three weeks ago that the United St he'd like to see the United States fully opened up to all people who want a vaccination, those people 16 and over. But uh, Tennessee beating that by at least a month, as the governor announced on Monday that Tennessee will be open for all vaccinations to all adults 16 and over no later than April the 5th. The Cleveland City Council met Monday and uh, took up several items of business. As City Manager Joe Fivas provided an update on the 25th and Okoy Street intersection, Fivas says he's been meeting with TDOT for months discussing options on what each party wants to see. Both are state roads, so TDOT responsible for maintenance of both. Lee and the Pi Center are bringing extra traffic into the area. It's made that project a priority. A resolution was also passed by the Cleveland City Council opposing the elimination of Cleveland as a metropolitan statistical area which would cost Cleveland funding. Mayor Brooks was authorized by the council to prepare and submit letters of opposition. The Bradley County Commission met in a work session on Monday night. Bradley County Mayor Gary Davis brought an update on the latest as far as the COVID numbers are concerned. The mayor said that the COVID numbers are up somewhat in the uh, local community. Hospitalization, though, low, fairly and that uh, more vaccines are expected in the area soon. And our news partners at Channel 3 report that uh, state, uh, the Tennessee's Republican-led State House gave final legislative approval Monday to a measure to ban transgender athletes from participating in girls' sports, a measure many critics warn likely will result in legal challenges. House lawmakers voted 71-16 for the bill after little debate. The measure now goes to Republican Governor Bill Lee's desk. Lee has not explicitly promised that he will sign the bill, but has said transgender athletes would, quote, destroy women's sports and remarked that transgender athletes would put, quote, a glass ceiling back over women that hasn't been there in some time, end quote. That's the Mixed Morning Briefing presented by Toyota of Cleveland. Speaking of Toyota of Cleveland, they also sponsor our coverage of our local government meetings. So when I talked about the Bradley County Commission and the Cleveland City Council for Monday, you can watch the full meetings on Mix TV. That's our digital television channel at mymix1041.com. For the Mix Morning Briefing on Mix TV, I'm Steve Hartley. Hopefully you're getting home safe. We're going to get out and check traffic in just a moment. I believe we do have some uh, situations going on. We're going to get you a CHI Memorial Sports Desk update. What is going on in sports this afternoon? This has been breaking news from the Toyota of Cleveland News Desk. Anytime news, traffic, or weather comes on and needs to be uh, out to the community, we'll break in on the radio and get that to you. Let's get you back to the music right now on Mix 1041.